You hear it from time to time, and it's hard to imagine victims of horrific violence forgiving the suspect. It's even going on in the wake of the Charleston church shooting. CBS 2's Mike Parker has this original report live from a Glencoe church vigil for the Charleston victims. Mike. Rob, people of many races, many religions were here tonight to remember the Charleston, South Carolina victims and to call for peace and healing. I will build this world from love. 75 people gathered at St. Paul's AME Church and the message was goodwill. There was what was called a prayer for our enemies. And one elderly black woman said she was praying for the young man. Last week during a court hearing for that young man, the alleged killer, he heard, perhaps to his surprise, words of forgiveness from relatives of the victims. You hurt a lot of people, but God forgive you, and I forgive you. And today in Boston, a survivor of the Boston Marathon bombings, a Downers Grove man, surprised many with this. I have forgiven him. Um, I have come to a, a place of peace, and I, I genuinely hope that he does as well. Wayne Mesmer, known as Mr. National Anthem in Chicago, knows that place of peace as well. In 1994, he was shot in the throat by a teenager outside a club in Little Italy. He survived and later forgave the shooter. I think forgiveness is something that leads to freedom, and the taste of freedom is so... Uh, uh, appetizing that uh, you'd never want to go back. It's an amazingly steep hill to climb, but uh, the, the vision from the top of the mountain is brilliant. You can walk around with a ball and chain on your foot all day and re-victimize yourself every day or reach down and unlock it. Mesmer likes this quote from Mahatma Gandhi. If the whole world operated on a system of an eye for an eye in its justice system, the whole world would be blind. Reporting live tonight from Glencoe, Mike Parker, CBS 2 News. Rob Kate. Yeah, some good wisdom there for sure, Mike. Thank you.